Well, ladies and gentlemen, we have ourselves some patch notes, and let's quickly go over these. It looks like we have quite a bit. Um, the translation is going to be all over the place for this one, so apologies if I get anything wrong or whatever, but let's go ahead and talk about this. This will be implemented uh, Tuesday, February 27th at 1300. Uh, that's Japan time, so 1 p.m. I believe that is uh, just going to be like 2 a.m., you know, the usual Dijin hours time for uh, so at least in the central time, so I don't, it's going to be sometime late tonight. So, uh, of course, we know Maridon's coming out, Battle Pass update, Ranked Match update, the draft, and all that sort of stuff. So let's go ahead and figure this out. Um, from February 22nd to March 12th, a different color rank plaza will appear. We know that Panic Parade will be open again. Okay, we got that. Maridon Sandwich Challenge, you can get Maridon for free, and I'm sure you'll be able to buy it as well. Uh, new items, uh, Holloware Effect Spray will now be available. Enjoy adding special effects to your favorite Holloware. Okay, so this is the uh, the shiny spray that allegedly won't affect your stats in any way, uh, according to Pokemon themselves. So if that's cool, you can, I believe, just get... I don't even know if it's like actually like changing the, to like the shiny version of the Pokemon, or if it's just like, you know, sparkly thing for Holloware. I don't know, we'll figure it out. Who really cares? Uh, in Series 18, Draft Mode uh, f will be experimentally introduced in top-ranked battles. In Draft Mode, each team can vote to decide which Pokemon will be banned after the Pokemon, blah, 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 blah. Okay, we know this. Um... Yeah, the, the, we know how draft works. Uh, the number has been prohibited to use in draft moves and changed from 1 to 2, so you get two bans. Format has been changed from a format in which both teams simultaneously select the Pokemon to ban, uh, in which the fourth of his players... Okay, so it goes from you pick at the same time, blind picking essentially, to I uh, now alternate bans. So you can, I guess, more target ban or ban reactively ban based on whatever. Let's get into the important stuff. We have um, a, a balance updates adjustments okay so mewtwo x and mewtwo y their uh ability pressure is getting nerfed so a certain amount of aos energy in possession will now be consumed at the time of mega evolution even if you don't have enough aos energy including zero all the energy you have will be consumed depending on the amount of aos energy consumed the time spent in mega uh evolved form will increase with this update uh the time spent in mega evolution will be roughly the same as before with the consumption of 25 energy so what this is saying is uh when mewtwo is mega it will, um, you'll have energy and it'll be depleted uh, the longer you're in Mega. And uh, essentially how it is normally, it will be 25 energy. So once you run out of your 25 energy, uh, you will leave Mega, I guess. So it's basically just the same thing, except you have to have AOS energy. And the less AOS energy you have, the less time you're in Mega, I believe is how it's going to work. So hopefully that's how it works. Okay, now Zacian is also getting um, slight attack buff to the late game. So I was taking a short break. The sword I was holding in my mouth seemed to have gotten rusty, so I sharpened it. Okay, um, Zacian's getting buffed, which... Okay, uh, I think we knew this. I don't recall if we knew this, but it's getting an attack uh, increase late game, and I'm sure throughout the mid game as well, but it's getting about a 50%, or not 50%, a 50 raw damage attack increase, which is fine, I guess. That's, I mean, this was already broken. It's going to be more broken, whatever. Um, we already know that Pokemon's crazy. And then Metal Claw is getting a second knock off his cooldown time. Who really cares? Metal Claw is still bad. Uh, probably anyway. Uh, Sainaru Sugiri. I don't know if that's its Unite move or if that's Sacred Sword. Uh, attack increase amount from 20% to 30% and the defense to break through 20 or 15% to 20%. So a buff to whatever this is. Uh, I'm just going to Google that and see what comes up. Um, some sus Naruto stuff. Nice. Love that. Um... Pokemon. Patsugiri. Uh, I, I, I don't know. Is that Sacred Sword? Someone tell me. Okay. Um, Dragapult. The uh, movement of him suddenly appearing from darkness and going uh, doing a KO was a bit sloppy, so we have downwardly adjusted uh, Phantom Force uh, to a vital point rate. So the attack speed increase has been lowered from 100% to 85%, and the uh, vital point rate, so that's crit rate, has been decreased 5% at level 9. So lower crit rate and lower attack speed on Phantom Force. I think that's a fair enough. You don't want to get the Pokemon, so that's cool. Muscania, which is Meowscarada. Uh, there was a scene in the middle of the enemy's camp where all of the moves uh, ended up having a waiting time, were lost, so I used moves and you not move. Okay, so a bunch of cooldown decreases for Meowscarada. I'm totally fine with that because, I mean, it's, the, it's getting the battle pass, so give it some sort of buff. You don't need to buff Meowscarada too much, but giving it, you know, cooldown buffs is fine. I'm um, not sure which moves these are, but that's cool. And then it's Unite move, Blooming Showtime, damage amount. So 10% increase and required energy amount, 10% decrease. So uh, you get your Unite move slightly more often and you do a little bit more damage. I think that's fair. The Unite move is one of the better things about this Pokemon's kit, but it's also very easy to avoid and very easy to 
um you know it's also just feel, feels like kind of a tickle and doesn't really do a whole lot so that's a nice little buff leafy on please be a gigantic nerf uh in order to bring the fresh green that dashes through the unite battle we have adjusted the uh upwards the swallow change and enhanced attacks in the latter half of the battle there was a noticeable scene where players were ko'd while charging light so we made an upward adjustment to solar blade uh okay uh so they de they increased excuse me they increased leafeon's boosted attack are we joking we we're but we're we're buffing leafeon we're we're buffing leafeon damage amount 50 percent increase on swallow replacement um don't know what that means but that's a funny sentence to say uh damage amount 50 percent increase and time to recover number of possession okay this that's aerial ace i guess um buffing that and then uh whatever that is um pull down increase and then solar blade damage reduction amount while charging gets increased why are we buffing leafeon leafeon was already one of the most oppressive pokemon in the game why the hell are we buffing it i guess leafeon's getting a new hollow air what the f all right I could not tell you why we're buffing that. Gyarados. Uh, it seemed like he was having a hard time climbing up the waterfall, so I made the path to evolution easier. I like that. We have adjusted that as a means for Magikarp to take revenge. We have uh, made upward adjustments to something in Aquatel and the Unite move. Okay, I like that. So the effort gauge uh, increases with normal attacks increased by 50%. So you your uh, normal attacks increase your um, effort gauge by 50%. I like that. Uh, flail, I'm assuming. Damage amount. Big buff to Flail. Fine. Um, buffs all around the Gyarados. Aquatel cooldown buff. Massive cooldown buff to Aquatel. Probably going to need a damage one too. That is a massive cooldown buff. Three seconds is crazy. Uh, Tony Beery plus... Or Tony... Uh, Tori No Beery. I'm sorry. I apologize. Oh, Jesus Christ. Uh, yep. <laughs> yep. I could not tell you. But that's a buff. Damage amount, 40% increase. And decrease to one of its moves. So it says Aquatel, Dragon Breath. Waterfall? Probably Waterfall. I'm going to go with Waterfall. And uh, you get your uh, Unite move more often. That's fine. Pikachu! Ooh, Pikachu buffs. I'm here for Pikachu buffs. We have made upward adjustments to Electro Ball and Volt Tackle. I'm assuming, yeah, Volt Tech. I'm going to assume that's Volt Tackle to make it easier to KO when you catch a speed type Pokemon with low durability. So they buff Leafeon, but they also buff a nice counter to it in Pikachu. Thank God. Additional damage amount um, increase. So 4% of decreased HP. So more execute damage on Electro Ball, I think is what that means. And then just a 20 raw damage increase on Volt Tackle. I'm here for that. A penis. <laughs> Oh my god, I am so sorry for these um, translations. I have no idea what this is. I, I have no idea. Blissey! Alright, Blissey. Um, attack speed increase. So we're buffing Helping Hand for some reason. And we're buffing... <sighs> Why are we buffing soft, uh, Safeguard Helping Hand? Why? Right when the Mewtwo's come back, we buff Blissey too. What are we doing? What are this is one of the worst balance patches of all time. What are we doing? What are we doing? I just... Why? Why? Oh my god. Um all right. Seems like uh the fat claws of overwork, so I just scissor cross downward. Ewa Palace, I think that's crustal. Yeah, it's Crustle. Uh, so they nerfed Crustle X Scissor. Okay. All right. Yeah, Crustle was a problem. Yep, Crustle's an issue. I don't. I. I. I have no words for for what we're doing. Uh, Trevenant nerfs. Uh, the damage interference. So they uh, increase the um cooldown of Woodhammer. It's still gonna be good. Uh, Curse. The damage amount has been increased eighteen percent. Movement speed reduction effect. So huge movement speed reduction. I like that. Uh, HP in exchange. Okay, so you lose more, or you lose less HP during it. So I guess, yeah, overall curse buffs, that's fine. Um, Hyru, I think this is Dragonite. 
considering the fact that it says Hyperbeam. Yep, Hyperbeam. Uh, they, they nerfed Hyperbeam's cooldown. Okay. Don't know why we're doing that. Uh, <laughs> Mafoxy, this is Delphox, I believe. This is Delphox. This is Delphox. Uh, so Fire Tingle gets a damage increase uh, from a huge damage increase, 27%, and then a cooldown nerf. Fire Tingle, Mystical Fire, probably. Could be Fire Spin. Either way, that's a nice damage increase and a very nice cooldown increase as well. Power Headband. Okay, so this is the Charizard thing. Essentially, how Charizard worked was each normal attack, or each time you use your basic attack, you were getting multiple procs of uh, Muscle Band. It no longer does that. Uh, and then a... Carpet Charm and Scarf, so Charging Charm and um, Rapid Fire Scarf change so that each normal attack and enhanced attack cost one, counts as one normal attack. For example, one Strengthen attack from that counts as two normal attacks. I don't know if this is a buff or a nerf, it sounds like a good thing. So we're making Scarf stronger, so Guard Charm just got better. I truly do not know what we're doing with these um, patch notes. Let's see, okay, we have actual patch notes. Let's just go through these uh, real quick. Star Sword. Um, is that the, uh, okay, I'm, I'm just gonna assume that's Sacred Sword. Uh, Phantom Force, okay, yeah, the crit rate, and then attack speed decrease, Meowskarada, Night Slash, cooldown buff, double team cooldown buff, Trailblaze cooldown buff, and then Unite Me buff as well. Leafeon, I, I can't get over this. Why are we buffing Leafeon? Why or why? Why on earth are we buffing? You can join this, uh, server in the description, by the way. Uh, Gyarados. Uh, flail buff, waterfall buff. Okay, I got that right. And then um, Aquatel buff, Unite move buff, Pikachu like the Electro Ball buffs, Blissey helping hand and safeguard. But I, I don't, I cannot get over Blissey and Leafy on buffs. I cannot understand that. Um, Russell getting nerfed for no reason. Uh, Trevenant, whatever. Dragonite, whatever. Fires. It was Fire Spin for Del Fox. And then, um, yeah. Okay. Cool. I, uh, yeah, this is one of the, we have the US version as well. I'm just going to go over this quickly just so we can see anything else that we might have missed. Oh yeah, here, here's the real, you know, patch notes. Jesus Christ. I can't believe we're buffing Blissey. Uh, Metagross got bug fixes. Absol got bug fixes. Blaziken got bug fixes. Mimikyu got bug fixes. Okay. Um... Genuinely one of the worst balance patches of all time, and I'm sorry to be negative about it, but why are we buffing two of the best Pokemon in the game already? I don't understand that. Uh, and then plus, EX is coming back, Maridon releasing, I don't know what we're doing, but it is what it is. Hopefully you guys are able to find some enjoyment out of this, and I'll catch you on the next one. Take it easy.